Hey guys, giving y'all home shoulder workout. If you see my bicep video, you get an idea what I do. Just in case you haven't, I do. Three to four exercises depending on how many areas of that body part I'm hitting. And I do five rounds. Four to five rounds. Um, you can do it three, well I do anywhere from three to five rounds. The reps will vary. Personally what I'm doing is, I'm doing 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. And you use the same weight through all of them. Now you can increase the weight as you get down to a 6, 4, 2, or however. But choose that right weight. We said I'm doing military presses, dumbbell side flies, and barbell shrugs. Now, for the flies, I'm going to keep the same weight till I can control it. But for the pressing, in the weight, and I'm trying to keep all these lifts the same because I'm just using a barbell and a dumbbell and body weight stuff these exercises so further ado let's get to it hitting six reps hardcore no no sorry about that my biceps are still sore from yesterday's workout so Six reps. Now, the way I do so, I can I just clean up myself. Breathe out, breathe in. Slide. Now, these slides aren't the best for There we go. We just hit that intense. Now we're going to be going four reps the next round. And hitting everywhere. And while I'm resting, I want you to know that for shoulders, what we're doing is. We're not really focusing on much of the back delt because you get enough back delt doing the doing back in the front delt because you get enough delt work doing chest. Now, now when I'm doing military presses, I'm hitting the top of the delt a bit of my traps. And if you're having struggle with upper chest area development. Do them overhead presses, it works a bit of your upper chest. Now, you have the lateral head or, or rear delt, or no, not rear delt, side delt, or whatever you want to call them. And doing a motion like this is what will work them, or like press out like that. But side flies are good for that. And next, we're working the traps, doing anything over your head or shrugging, or stuff like that. I'll do it next. I'm gonna hit it. Four reps. And no, no, listen to music. Listen to music. You have to. Some people don't like music. And it's cool. One thing I must do is that you gum. There. I'm using really light weight, but you can weight that off. Fatigue. My muscle. Let's do this. I saw from a deadlift, a front roll, get my hands under it. So, come down slow. This is what's going to build power. It may look like I'm doing this, but I'm actually doing this. For, sh no, for shrugs, for reps.
Easy. If you want, you can increase it, but with the circuit resting stuff, with the circuit, it's really pumping and I'm feeling. One thing I want to let you know is I don't do pressing movements back to back because they all work the same thing. My pressing movements are shoulders, traps, and no, shoulders, triceps, and chest. When you each, I don't put those, uh, those back to back. I put those at least one day of rest. But for pulling movements, I do back biceps, thin legs. Those in, but don't do any of those back to back. I'm just getting myself prepared for two reps now. So when I do two reps, you would think two reps would be easier, but they're not. So what I do is I go extra slow on the negative and extremely a lot more faster on the positive which will really help that power strength and hypertrophy and abs I might throw in eventually I'll try to, I'll try to get the abs when I can personally I do abs weighted and when I do abs I'm going to show you how to do them we do it with just free weights no machines now, if you want to do cable crunches, you go right ahead. I have to keep the reps a little bit low. Alright, now it's time for last round. Last of the giant set. And whoever, whoever, whoever said these really work, don't lie. They definitely feel great. Chin chin. And I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna keep using this regular bar till I passed up 150 pounds and everything. So curl, or head press, you know. That's really what I'm gonna do. And dumbbells till I get past. Well, I'll just use one arm stuff. Time to start. Two reps. So remember, we go extra slow and negative. Count five going down, and two going up. So one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Right, there we go. One, two, three, four. Go four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two. You don't really feel it much doing two rest of your fast work there. So, that's the workout. Oh, I'm whipped. So, I'm just going to be sore tomorrow because my biceps are even sore. And leg day scares me even more. Tomorrow, I probably will hit legs or back. Probably going to hit the leg, back. <sighs> legs are probably going to be the. Well, no. See what I got? These are home workouts you can do without going to a gym. And don't even need a bench press. Now, if you have a bench press, throw a bench in there. But I personally don't want to use bench. But yeah. Um, now, there are different types of ways you can connect these muscles with chest, back. Personally, I don't do chest, triceps, or throw in shoulders. Now, well, shoulders I'm more likely to throw into than chest. But, triceps I don't, because when I'm done with chest, triceps will get sore. And vice versa. I'll pair up biceps, shoulders, biceps, triceps, shoulders, legs. Uh, now, if you want to run this on a three day split, I would run legs, shoulders, back chest by subtracting now for one of the people who like who wants that extra fatiguing chest tricep shoulders back bicep legs and abs but that's just, you, you, or you can do what I'm doing do one different day or you can do three body parts two days on one day off and what I would do is I would do chest shoulders triceps and abs with legs back biceps and abs so that's the video I'm really sore 
Hope you guys like this, and I'll catch you guys later.